friend of fortune adventuring with Hernan Cortez. Wouldn't you want to use your fortune to fund an expedition to South America to take advantage of a civilization torn by war, only to ultimately die an early death in the struggle? No? Well, one who did that was called Francisco Pizarro. The year was 1532. Finally, I have captured my brother, Huascar. That insolent boy thought he could take my rightful place as king. You're taking record of this, right? Yes, sire. But I can only tie knots so fast. If only there was a better way to keep records. Perhaps one that used less color thread? Don't be ridiculous. If we run out of thread, I will order the tributes to send more. cities in the shapes of pumas and crocodiles. Why not guinea pigs? They're far tastier. Sires, there's news from the north! News! There are strangers, sires, two heads and shining skin. They wish to parlay. Now there's an idea. Expand my kingdom to the north. I shall meet these strangers. Perhaps they wish to bargain. If so, I hope they brought their sons. The whites here are so amazing. Please don't dishonor my family, sire. Silence! One more crazy objection about getting rid of Kikus, and you'll be in Lilita's year-round building my roads. But that's seven times as long as the other villagers! The new Inca, the ruler for which the entire civilization was named for, soon found that the Spanish were more of a threat than a promise for compulsory labor. But, custom had it that if someone wished to parley, they could do so in peace. Though he had craftily outwitted his brother Huascar, Aruharpa soon found that the Spanish were more underhanded than he thought. Ay Dios mío, these steps are so steep. I have to leave my horse at the bottom. I hope these savages don't eat her. Why use horses? Llamas are far more practical. That thing couldn't carry my grandmother ten feet. Use animals to carry you? Why do you not simply walk? Are you telling me you walk everywhere? Don't you use carts? What are carts? It's a block moved by wheels. What's well, a wheel? Attention, the servants of God convene. You have only one God? Do you simply favor Inti, the God of the Sun? Shush! I, Atahalpa, descendant of Pachacuti, conquered all he saw, united the Islas and Huanacapu, brother and conqueror of treacherous Huascar, ruler of Tuantinsuyu and its four great provinces, leader of the Kuracas, who ruled them and their thousand great cultures, representative of Inti, who brings light to our land, wearer of the largest ear spools in all the land, day to address you, stranger. Tell me, have you yet made an offering to our gods at the Huaca in Cusco, our sacred capital? If not, we will immediately call a virgin of the sun to assist you. No, I have not, for I know that there is only one god whose only son is Jesus, and your sacrifice of animals and mummified people disgusts me, savage! You dare call me savage? The army below us consists of men from all known regions of the land who follow him and their Elus loyally into battle. You call him savage when you wear a drab gray vestment while he wears the finest cloth the woman under command of the queen, blood of his blood, deputy of the moon can provide. And 
And those people should be glad to be mummified. All the separate income before were mummified, as I will be one day. Their every whim forever tended to by the Inca call of masculine progeny. Sir, perhaps we should rethink. They seem to like chocolate and potatoes more than gold here. Enough talking. Seize him! But we were parleying. You cannot attack in a parley. In Iberia, you can. You may own all that you see, but you don't own our guns. Yana, do something! They cannot take aim here, sire. They may hit you. Men, ready to see your weapon. No, no, no. You can't attack us or we'll kill him. Ah, these things again. No 
I'll keep going. <laughs> you can stop. I think they might hear us whispering. Okay, now run back. Walk out and then come in again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Alright!